A young centipede called Cyril by name had 100 legs, all exactly the same. 100 legs is rather a lot. It's certainly more than most insects have got. But Cyril was happy climbing up trees with his 100 feet under 100 knees. And wherever he went in case of disasters, he carried a tin of 100 plasters. His 100 socks he kept nice and clean. He had 100 spares in his washing machine. His 100 shoes he polished each night, then put them in pairs, the left with the right. Cyril worked very hard, but what he liked best was to put up his feet and have a good rest. Then he'd count all his legs at the end of each day to make sure that none had dropped off on the way. Well, one sunny evening, his friend Sally the Squirrel popped in for a chat and said, Hello, Cyril. Hang on, he replied to his furry-tailed friend. I'm counting my legs. <laughs> I'm nearing the end. 98? 99? <gasps> Cyril stopped in despair. Leg number 100. It just wasn't there. I've lost one, cried Cyril. It's just as I feared. Leg number 100 has just disappeared. Are you certain? asked Sally. Try counting once more. But Cyril had left without shutting the door. He crawled and he climbed. He searched through the night. But leg number 100 had vanished from sight. Don't worry, said Sally. Won't 99 do? I get along fine, and I've only got two. But I need 100. 100 I need, or I can't call myself a, a true centipede. So he went to see Woodlouse, who lived in a tree, and made things from wood without charging a fee. On his 99 knees, Cyril started to beg. Please, will you make me a new wooden leg? I might, said the Woodlouse. And then I might not. Can't you make do with the ones that you got? Please, pleaded Cyril. 100 I need. Or I can't call myself a true centipede. So the Woodlouse, he made him a small wooden stump. And the centipede left, going 99 thump. For the rest of the day, Cyril hobbled around. And he did all his jobs to that strange wooden sound. And when he had finished, he sat in his chair and counted his legs to make sure all were there. But to Cyril's surprise, when the counting was done, his legs now totaled 101. My leg, it's come back! Cyril shouted with glee, and he called his friend Sally to come round and see. But Sally knew better. Your counting was wrong. Leg number 100 was there all along. Well, the centipede laughed till he fell off his chair. Then he lay down and waved all his legs in the air. And from that moment on, he took Sally's advice. Now every evening, he counts his legs twice.